What is up, folks? This week, as we have in weeks past, what we'll be doing is digging into one of the advertiser-friendly content guidelines. And this week, we are focusing on recreational drugs and drug-related content. Now, in response to your feedback, I'm not going to be focusing on the article, which I have here in front of me, and which is deep linked in the description below. What I want to talk to you about is three different topics that are a good guide to getting the green icon or understanding that yellow icon. And then I'll finish up with a couple of questions that we got via comments on this week's news flash. So the three topics I wanna talk to you about are the subject, consumption, and glorification. Let's start off with the subject. Merely discussing the subject of drugs, be they recreational or illegal or otherwise, that is monetizable at its core. Merely talking about instances where you consumed drugs in the past um, or doing so via news report or music video, all of that is perfectly acceptable when it comes to getting that green icon. Now let's move on to those second and third topics, and those are consumption and glorification. If you're addressing content where you feature somebody consuming a drug, then you leave yourself open to getting that yellow icon, specifically the limited ads status. Now, I hear you cry, what about news? What about music? Well, the key here is understanding the concept of fleeting and the concept of focal. If within the context of a music video or within the context of a news report, you feature fleeting depictions of consumption where it's merely part of the B-roll and not a focal part of the actual footage itself, then you will still receive that green icon. However, if, be it a music video or a news report or your raw content, if you feature focal depictions of drug consumption where there really isn't an awful lot more to the visuals that you're providing, then you're probably gonna get that limited ads status. Now, the third topic I said we'd talk about is glorification, and that is rarer, but it's going to get you that no ad status and the yellow icon. So what we're talking about when it comes to glorification is really encouraging your viewers to consume drugs or to buy drugs or outlining how you can make drugs yourself, DIY, or where you can buy those drugs online or offline. Those are typically what we're seeing when we apply those no ads, yellow icon statuses. Now, that is the theory of the policy. I wanna get more into the practical elements and to do that, I'm gonna address your questions. We're gonna start with Modest Neko. Question about the drug use guidelines. In the gun one, the previous upload we did around firearms related content and that guideline, in the gun one, it was stated that animations don't follow the gun guidelines, but instead fall down under other categories, such as a shock factor. Is the same true for animations that feature tobacco or drugs? Well, Mondas Neko, the same is true, but let me frame it a little bit differently. If something is in a piece of drama or it's in an animation, we don't consider that to be drugs because they are things of fiction. So you would really have to be featuring real drug consumption um, in order to get that limited icon status. So we hope that clears it up. But again, if the animation or drama is dealing with drug consumption, it's more than likely suitable for a more mature audience. So again, keep all of those different guidelines in mind. The second question I wanna tackle is from Mike Golden. One question about ads and tobacco. In one of my vlogs, I had a cigar in my mouth for literally three seconds, and the video was hit with limited ads. I decided to remove the video. Was it something I should have refuted? It was a five minute vlog and only three seconds uh, featured a cigar. For this specific example, that is not the reason that your video would have been hit with a limited ad status. Having a cigar in your mouth or having a cigarette in your mouth, none of that is in violation of the advertiser-friendly content guidelines. The advertisers have never cited it to us as a concern, so that is firmly safe for the green icon. Now, one more question. There should not be any video advertisements promoting either of these subjects. If drugs are illegal, they should also not be allowed. That's from Neon Style. Well, 
This is actually a very interesting question and provides me with the opportunity to clarify. Google as a company has long held the policy that it will not accept any ads that feature tobacco brands. So we need to clarify with you specifically that we don't allow any ads that feature tobacco and we don't allow any ads that feature drugs that are not approved by local regulators. So I think there was potentially a bit of confusion there that I'm happy to clarify. And what we're talking about here is the monetization or demonetization of one of the uploads that's provided to the platform. Now, that's it from me for today. If you have any questions on any of this, I'm going to try and tackle as many of the comments as possible. We're going to move to a different guideline over the next couple of weeks. If you have a strong preference for any one of them, make sure you call it out. See you on Tuesday.